hurt. It, 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 that prodigy, it, it, that's sad. You know, someone who grew up just loving shook ones and loving quiet store. But, you know, it, it, it breaks your heart. I, I hope his family's all right. What is one of your favorite Mob Deep songs? I mean, Quiet Storm. Quiet Storm and Quiet Storm remix, you know. I mean, that was like that was like Kim's greatest verse, right? Just the, it, it was great. It, the the remix is still the thing that's freestyle to to this day. Everybody like kind of jumps on a Quiet Storm remix, so so it's great. I think he'll you know is it will definitely live on. He'll live on. So it's beautiful. So what was it about this role in particular that made you be like, you know what, I need to do this? I mean, truthfully, I just wanted to work with Michael Bay. It was just a, it was a thing. We kind of found the role as we did it. You know, it was a thing. It just came from a meeting with him, and and I wanted to work with him because he's such a distinct visual director that I thought it would be fun, and it was a huge learning experience. And so that's why I signed on, to be honest. What are some things that you learned while working with him? I mean, just managing a production of this size. I mean, there's so many moving plates on any production, but especially one with a, a budget of this size that's supposed to uh, reach such a global audience. It was something that uh, you learn certain truths and certain principles that kind of guide you throughout that process. No, oh, no, it's not even that. I think, to me, what the entire episode is about is about exp uh, the expansion of consciousness. You know what I mean? It's about being beyond a certain amount of pain, being beyond certain uh, rules that kind of uh, dictate some of our lives and things that we adhere to unnecessarily. And so I think it's a great, interesting conversation. I really hope people enjoy it, and I hope it sparks deeper conversation in everyone's personal life.